With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, the question is asking that which of the following compounds will undergo aldol condensation and which of the following uh, following will undergo Kanijaro reactions and which neither. Write the structure of the expected products of aldol condensation and Kanijaro reaction and the compound is given as 2-methyl pentanol. So first of all, let us see what is this 2-methyl pentanol. So in pentanol, we will have 5 carbon. So in that way, CH3 after that we can take this ch5 carbon is there uh, pentanol is there one two three this is four and this is convert into a pentanol that is aldehyde so in second carbon we have this ch3 now we can fulfill this carbon valence for valency now this is your pentaldehyde two methyl pentaldehyde so basically uh, basically the adjacent carbon of the carbonyl group is called as alpha carbon and hydrogen present on this carbon is known as alpha hydrogen and if any aldehydes or ketones has a alpha hydrogens so that will gives aldol condensation sorry it has only one alpha hydrogen so one alpha hydrogen so any aldehyde or ketones if alpha hydrogen is there then that will gives aldol condensation so here alpha hydrogen is there one alpha hydrogen so it will gives can uh, aldol condensation so aldol condensation reaction is gives by the reacting with NOH so we have to take dilute NOH. So what will happen? This alpha hydrogen will be act as a acidic hydrogens because of this C double bond O group that will show here the minus M effect. And from here one H positive will be donated to this OH negative. So water will be released and in that way one nucleophile will be formed. Means we can say conjugate base. So this is act as an acid. So conjugate base will be formed in that way. So C is two okay pentanol is there one two three four five okay t okay it's right one two three four five five is there and two methyl so this is convert into a c negative and here we have this ch3 after that c double bond o h so this will be act as a nucleophile now we have to take the another mole of the same compound for the aldol condensation so another mole of the same compound we have to take here so ch3 ch2 after that ch2 here we have this CH in this CH3 also present and C double bond O and hydrogen is present. So this will be act as a nucleophile again here due to uh, electronegativity difference it will have a partial positive charge and it will have a partial negative charge. So this nucleophile will be attack on this carbonyl group and this pi1 will shift it in upward directions. So in that way the final product will be formed in something like this right now we are showing here. So this will be convert into a CH3 CH first of all we are adding this compound. Uh, CH2 CH2 after that we have this C uh, CH this CH and in that CH we have this CH3 after that this C double bond o, o group is present so it will convert into CO negative one hydrogen is present and this negative charge is attached with this carbon this negative charge and one more thing we have this CH3 group as well CH3 and in that carbon one C double bond O group is also attached C double bond O H and three carbon is there three CH2 CH2 and CH3 so this will be the final product but after that we can do the protonation of this compound by using S3O positive and this oxygen negative directly convert into OH so we can do this step as well in the single step so this will be the final product but one more thing we can do if we heat this compound if we heat this compound then what will happen generally this is called as alpha carbon because carbonyl group is present and this is called as beta carbon so generally on heating these kind of compound uh, water is released from alpha beta but in alpha position there is no hydrogen is present so from here gamma one hydrogen will be released if you heat this compound so overall we can say the final product will be formed if we heat this compound then ch3 ch2 after that CH2 this hydrogen will be released water in the form of water along with this OH so this convert into a CH3 double bond CH after that we have this carbon in that carbon CHO means aldehyde is there and in that carbon in this direction we have three carbon and downside we have one carbon so this will be the final product I hope you understand this concept thank you for class 6 to 12 ITG and neat level Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.